Hi everybody, this is Christina from Capital City Beads and I'm going to be making a beaded cuff using memory wire. We need a few basic materials. We need some memory wire in a circle shape. We need 18 gauge wire in a matching color. A variety of beads. You can use pretty much any beads as long as they fit. I've got two 4mm fire polish, two 6mm fire polish, two strands of 6mm wood beads, and one strand of 8mm gemstones. We need two tools. We need a round nose plier to help us make loops, and we'll need a cutter. But you want to make sure that you're using a cutter that you do not care about. Memory wire is made out of stainless steel and it is super hard and it will jack up your cutters. So use some junky cutters that you don't mind messing up. First, we need to cut our memory wire into individual loops. It comes in this kind of slinky shape, um, but we're going to be using one loop at a time. So you'll find where that memory wire comes full circle there at the end, and you're going to snip right where that end of that wire meets um, the full circle. Don't be afraid to really muscle this cut. Um, it's very hard wire, so you do need to really give it a good squeeze. My bracelet is nine rows, so I'm gonna be cutting nine circles. Uh, you could do as many or as little rows as you want. It's all the same technique. So get your circles cut and ready to go, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Once you have all nine of your circles cut, we need to make a loop on one end of each circle. The loop goes on one side and the beads are gonna slide around on the other. So using your round nose plier, you're gonna go in a little ways. You don't wanna use the very tip because it's too small. You wanna go in a little ways so you have a good sized circle. You're gonna grab onto the end pretty hard and you're gonna use your thumb to really push that wire down and around that plier. Now, like I mentioned before, this wire is quite hard, so you gotta really crank that circle around using the pressure of your thumb uh, to create that loop. So we just need the loop on the one side, so we're gonna put that one down and we're gonna repeat this step nine times so that every one of our loops have a little circle on the end. Next, we're gonna start stringing our beads. I'm starting with my eight millimeter round gemstone bead. Super easy, just string the bead right onto that memory wire. Uh, for this row, I use 19 beads, but it'll vary depending on the size of the bead, the shape of the bead, etc. You just wanna have enough beads on there until you come to the end, leaving a quarter of an inch of wire, because we do need to make another loop on the other side. Once you've got to that spot and there's a quarter of an inch of wire left, we're gonna make another loop. Same process, you're gonna pinch the end with your round nose plier and really muscle that loop around, tucking it under towards you. It's a little trickier now that the beads are on there because you don't want the beads to fall off. You're gonna have to rotate, really tuck it in there. I ended up needing to use the very tip of my plier to help really get that loop all the way in. Wire wrapping's never been my strong suit, so my loops are a little wonky, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna cover them, you're not gonna see them, so if they're a little bit different size, don't worry. So I've strung up a set of magenta, a set of the jade wood, and a set of six millimeter fire polish. I also used a size six seed bead in between to give it a little extra texture and I've strung up a set of the four millimeter fire polish beads. We need to create a bar that we're gonna be stringing these onto, and this is where we're gonna use our 18 gauge wire. Cut yourself about four inches. Using your round nose plier, you're gonna come down a quarter of an inch, pinch lightly, and then press that down away from you at a 90 degree angle. Using the end of your plier, pinch the end, and we're gonna roll it back towards ourselves, creating a loop. You may need to do a little adjusting to make sure everything is straight and that loop is fully closed. 
and then we'll be ready to string our beaded loops onto this bar. I'm going to be starting with my six millimeter fire polish. We're going to string it straight on there and then using some size six seed beads, I'm going to add two size six seed beads to create a little space between each set of beads. You can put these in any order you want. You can create any design you want. Just make sure you're adding some beads onto that bar to create some space. When I first made this design, I thought I would only need one size six seed bead there to give them enough space, but that wasn't. My beads were really close together and it kind of didn't sit right. So I did it again and I used two and it worked out perfectly. So there is a little bit of playing that you have to do to try to figure out what's going to work best for your design. For this cup, I used that 8mm gemstone in the middle and I did a reflecting pattern with the same beads on either side of that gemstone. Once you've got all of your beads strung on there, we need to create a loop on the end to hold all of these in place. So using your round nose plier, you are going to pinch as close to that last memory wire loop as possible. You don't want any space there or it'll wiggle around. Bend that wire at a 90 degree angle on your plier. Snip it at a quarter of an inch. Make sure your beads don't fly off. This is a little tricky. Grab on to the end with your round nose plier and roll it back towards you. If you make that loop too small, your wire might fall off, so make sure that loop is pretty big so that your beads stay on there. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We need to make another bar using the same technique as before. Cut yourself about four inches, snip the wire, make a quarter of an inch bend at a 90 degree angle, pinch the end, roll it back towards you to create a loop, adjust if needed, and then you can string the other side of the beads onto there. Make sure you do them in the right order. You don't want your memory wire uh, loops to be crossing each other, so make sure you go in the same order as the other side of the cuff. Adding the two size six seed beads in between each row of beads.
Once you get to the end, we're going to make one more loop to hold all of those beads in place. So same technique, pinch as close as possible to that last row of beads. Bend down at a 90 degree angle, cut at that quarter of an inch, pinch the very end with your round nose plier, and roll that back, creating a loop. And that's it. You've made a beaded cuff using memory wire. Thank you so much for watching my video. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this technique. Please tag me on Instagram at Capital City Beads. I'd love to see your designs. Feel free to play with whatever beads you like. The only ones I would not recommend are size 11 check seed beads and gemstone chips. The holes are just not going to work out in your favor. But go crazy. Use whatever you want and share with me on Insta. Bye.